they started. everybody and uh hi everybody my name is christina for those of you who are new here to those of you who have known me hi this is a bit of a weird video to be filming right now this is obviously different than all my other videos this is really raw i just i don't know just to say um i got my new phone yesterday the one that my sister bought for me sorry guys <laughs> one second so a lot of you guys had questions like about lashes about who my cameraman is about the breakup um, I'm gonna I'm here to answer your questions for you as much as I can It's hard though. I'm gonna be honest guys the fact that there's a camera pointing at me right now It's a bit difficult for the past seven months the second a camera turns on it's smile Because I never wanted to show it but Lately, I've, I've come to the point where I, I think I have to oh I don't know where to start um, This is hard. This is harder than I thought um so um Sorry guys, I wrote notes down. I, I knew that if I come in front of the camera and I start talking, that I'm just going to blank out. The cameraman, it's my friend from school. He doesn't really want to be seen on camera, but he's that's who my cameraman is. Uh, an old friend from school. So, that's the story behind the cameraman. I can't really say more. He doesn't really want me to mention him on social media, on um, YouTube, so I have to respect that. So, lashes. You guys know Nala. This is Nala. This is my puppy. She's one years old. A year and a half ago, me and Cyrus, as you guys have seen in our old videos, the video is called It's a Girl. I could put the picture of the thumbnail right here so you guys can see. We actually went and Cyrus got me a puppy and I named her Lashes. She was like my child. She was everything. She helped me through everything guys i was there's a time where i wasn't going through i wasn't okay having that little companion next to me helped me a lot she was like my friend and i took her everywhere with me every trip me and cyrus took every store run me and cyrus went to i mean most of them she was with me she was literally with me all the time she became such a part of me i know a lot of people might think it's just a dog but to me it wasn't and i've had dogs all my life but her, she was like my baby. She, was, I felt like a mom to her. I had brought her to the vet to get her checkup. And the vet found a heart murmur. A heart murmur can go away, but apparently hers was a level two, I think it was called. I think the, the lowest is the strongest. I think that's how it went. And he was very um, skeptical about that murmur. He thinks that it was born. She was born with it. And it just had run down from her parents and that it wouldn't go away. So I always had hope. I was like, no, she's gonna be fine. Then Cyrus surprised me with a trip to Greece. I've never been to Greece before then. This is the first time I left Lashes get babysat. I pretty much wanted to give her the best life, but I never thought in my head, because I was being optimistic, I think. I was being positive and having faith. Me and Cyrus, we get on a 10 hour flight. We get there, great, we're so jet lagged. That night, I call my mom and I'm like, Ma, how about, like, me and Cyrus want to surprise you to a trip to Greece, so why don't you come meet us here? It wasn't just me and Cyrus there, it was my sister, my brother, his wife was there, everyone was there. And so I was like, you know, why is my mom back there? Like, come. Like, so we flew her out that night, so she was arriving the next day, I think midday. This is the day after. So we get her from the airport, whole day passes, and now it's supper time, actually. And my mom's in her hotel room getting ready, I'm with Cyrus, getting ready to go out. She calls me, she calls me crying. And she goes, can I come to your room? Can I, I was like, what, what's wrong? Like, uh, she comes to the room. And now she just tells me that Lashes passed away. I thought she was joking. But even though that's not something my mom would ever joke about, I really thought she was joking. I didn't want to believe it. This was three months into me having her. Three months. Um, I, I started screaming and, uh, I'm not gonna give too much detail because I'm Cyrus was trying to help me. It was terrible. Guys, I still think about her. I still 
I still feel it. I still feel sorry. I can't explain it. I oh, this is I know this video is like negative and but I feel like I want to let you guys in on my life. I want to let you guys in because I feel like you're we're family and you don't know the me. I feel like I'll feel close to you guys. So she just passed away from her heart murmur, her heart condition. She just it just stopped. Cyrus got his flights to fly back in complete heartache. I was crying on the plane. It was Cyrus, me, and my mom, and I was just crying on the plane. It was very hard because then I lost her. There was nothing I could do about it. Cyrus kept, you know, giving me and telling me that it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I did the best I could. It wasn't my fault. I felt I was blaming myself for leaving on vacation. This is not love. She's the most precious little thing and I got her a bit after lashes to try and fill the void. Um, it didn't really fill the void but she's... Because it just, you know, heartbreak is heartbreak. This is a different dog and this is Nala. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know Nala. Nala lived with me a bit in Maryland and then... She loved Romeo so much. <laughs> and um, then we just, you know, I we came back here so... That's Nala. A lot of you guys have a lot of questions that I've been avoiding. The reason that I've been avoiding all these questions is because I've been trying to go through it alone, but um, now I realize that it might not be the best idea. I might It might be easier if I go through it with you guys, and I haven't done that ever since for the past seven months. Um, I mean, I went through the divorce, and then every Monday I would be posting, so... That means I had to record in that traumatic feeling. I haven't been letting you guys in on my life ever since um, the divorce. I have not talked about it on social media since then. It's been months where I've been trying to see, like, let me let them in. Maybe they could help. Maybe it could help me if I let people in. I think I'm just ready to let everybody in on a lot of things and on my life. I've always been a person who's very, very private. So it's ironic because my life is technically on social media and so is, you know, my things I go through. I'm also gonna be addressing questions that I've been seeing since the breakup. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me if it's a prank. And a, lo a lot of you guys mentioned a certain part in the breakup video where he says something that he says it's not a prank. I don't know, I cannot watch that video. Um, I remember being in that position in that video and it was the hardest thing. It was the most painful thing. It was, the, uh, yeah, no. Um, so at one point I leave the, the frame and I say something. You guys all thought I was saying, yes it is. When he said it was a prank, when, what I really was saying is I can't do this. So um, also in that video, um, I'm, you see me smiling at some points, I remember, and I remember seeing some comments about it. But it's not because I was happy or faking, it was because I was trying. I was so hurt and in pain, physical and mental pain, that smiling just, I just, I don't know, I saw the camera, I smiled, that's it, it wasn't, I was definitely not happy there, at all. I was destroyed. Me and Cyrus broke up seven months ago. For the past seven months, I've been putting on a smile. Every time the camera's on, it's a smile. And that's not the case. I'm not always smiling. Um, sometimes I even have a major panic attack right before I start a video. I just haven't healed yet. Me and Cyrus, I, I, I wish him the best. I wish nothing bad on him. I haven't healed yet. I'm still hurting. I'm not just gonna go through a divorce and be like, okay, I'm okay. Everything's good. I I don't care anymore. I'm happy. I'm great. It just doesn't work that way. That week, I posted a video on Monday by myself. It was the hardest thing, guys. I'm telling you. The, every time the camera shut off, I was like practically crying in the beginning. That was like my first video after the breakup. And then the second, wow, that was the second video I was here in Montreal. And... I had a breakdown in my closet. I was in so much pain 
but I never wanted to show any negativity, especially to you guys. I wanted, I never wanted to, I felt like that would be bad. The last seven months I've been suffering with anxiety because I would tell them that I'm scared. I feel like I, I lose my myself. I, I'll, I'll be in a moment, I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's real. I, I, I lose it, I lose myself. And I don't know what to do. And it's hard. It's not easy. I get so many questions about I mean, this one, I get, why do you keep ignoring our questions about you and Cyrus's relationship? Um, I'm a bit scared to answer them. The feelings I have are hard. Um, everyone always asks me, get back with him, get back with him, get back with him. But guys, like, reading that is actually really hard because it's not, it's not my choice. It, it's not, like, it's not that easy. It's not that simple. We... I don't want to make this too negative, but it's real, so. so I purposely ignore them, but even just reading them are very hard, but it's because it hurts. I feel so weird saying this. I've never said this on camera. Addressing them for me is really difficult. It was a big part of my life. So, yeah, see, I just was about to get really deep into it, and then, you know, I don't know, so. Another question is, why did you leave Cyrus? So that's not what happened. I didn't leave Cyrus. Um, we just, we didn't, we didn't, um, work, sadly. It was, it's weird. We were the strongest couple ever. Me and Cyrus had such a strong relationship. I mean, we fell in love so fast, but it was love. Um, you know, I'm, I'm in no place to speak for him. So I'm going to speak for myself right now. We had issues. As time went on, we started fighting. We fought a lot. And it just became bad for both of us. And like, it's harder that way when you both know. When you both like, are aware and you see it coming. It's harder. I had to go through a whole divorce and fly back to Canada by myself. It was the hardest thing. It was such a change. It was such a switch. I went from being married, living with somebody, thinking I'm going to spend the rest of my life with them, to bye. It was the hardest thing because I was like, okay, so I'm leaving right now. I'm leaving him. This is hard thinking on camera, I'm going to be honest. Okay, one second. I just had a, a flashback. Okay, so um, lately I've been seeing someone go through a breakup on social media and this person is showing their healing process on social media and I read the comments and they're so positive and I just pictured myself like what if I was doing that? Just reading those comments from that person's post were helping me. So imagine if they were my supporters telling me this personally. I just felt like it's so much better. I'm a human being, guys. Like, I know a lot of you guys asking, like, oh, she seems so happy. She seems like she doesn't care about the breakup. The truth is, I care too much. I don't even think that's a thing to care too much about it, but I cared a lot. It actually, that, that's why I was smiling, because I didn't want to show it on my healing journey where I was, to where I am today, to where I'm going to be, just take you guys with me. I needed to let you guys in on my real life. I need to let you guys in on me. we we'll keep on staying positive. Now, let's shake off the negative energy and go do something good. Okay, I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Bye guys.